Alright guys, so we have less than three weeks left for this rank split on Kings Canyon. So I thought now would be the perfect time to drop some tips and strategies with Crypto to help you guys stop having games like this. And I hope you guys start gaining RP and climbing through the ranks. So the first thing we're going to cover is just the basic utilities that his drone provides you. One of the best things about Crypto, and something that you guys should be abusing to help you climb in ranked, is the fact that Crypto's drone scan actually counts as a kill assist. So whenever you get in a fight, make sure you're throwing your drone out to get quick scans on the enemy for you and your squad, and potential KP from the scans as well. What I really love about Crypto's drone is that it provides you and your team with a lot more information than just scans. You can actually use Crypto's drone to scan the survey beacons. What separates Crypto from other recon legends is the fact that he can use his drone to scan the beacons that are deep in the zone during later rounds that no other legend can get to. And when you're playing Crypto, you want to make sure you're always grabbing your teammates' banners with your drone. No other legend can get your team back in the game like Crypto. That's why I always recommend carrying a mobile respawn with you. That way you can get your team back in the game right away and they can potentially land and get their loot back. And this could lead to some crazy gains for you and your squad that you never thought you could win. You can also use his drone to check the banners around the map to show how many squads are within a 200 meter radius around Crypto. Now this piece of information is extremely important as it allows you and your squad to decide whether you want to take a fight or not based on how many squads are within the area. And if you check the banners and there's two more squads and you guys don't feel in a comfortable situation, I suggest you just rotate right away. And as you rotate, you want to continuously check the banners to see if any new squads are in the area. And the minute you guys finish a fight, make sure you're throwing your drone up in the air to check the banners to see if any third parties are on the way. And that now leads us to our second topic, where to land with crypto, early KP, and how to rotate with crypto. So since our current rank split is taking place on Kings Canyon, I'm mainly going to be discussing the Kings Canyon POIs, but I'll also briefly discuss World's Edge, Storm Point, and Olympus as well. Alright, so we're going to briefly go over World's Edge and where you want to land, and how you want to rotate. If you guys are comfortable with fighting off drop, I recommend dropping Skyhook and looking for that Trials third party. You can get a lot of kill points doing that. And the other strategy I'll briefly go over involves the bottom half area of the map down here. So all the POIs down here all have great loot. So what I usually try and do is I land at the place that has the least amount of people and try and third party the place that has the most amount of people. For example, let's say three or four squads landed over at Big Mod, I would land over at Lava City, try and loot up fast, and then go third party the Big Mod area. With the way the rank's been going recently, you want to try and get your kills early out of the way and then just worry about rotating the rest of the game and playing endgame. Alright, so the next map we're briefly going over is Olympus. Now if you guys see the direction that the jump ship is going and is on that side of the map, I would personally recommend dropping over an Elysium. Elysium has extremely high tier loot, but is also a very popular area for players to land. That's why I only recommend going there if it's on the far side of the jump ship. If you're looking to fight off drop, Gardens is another great POI to land. You just need to be careful of third parties coming from Energy Depot, Grow Towers, or even Rift. And other good POIs you can land at is Docks, Power Grid, Grow Towers, Orbital Cannon, and Icarus. And even though fighting in that Hammond's Lab, just waterfall, open area is extremely fun, just try and avoid that area at all costs, because the third parties just keep coming and you usually just die. Alright, for Storm Point, we're going to keep it short and sweet. If you're looking to land uncontested and still have really good loot, I recommend going Shipfall and also checking out the wall. The wall can sometimes get a little bit hot, but for the most part, it'll be just you and one other squad. So you can kill them real fast and get the early co points out of the way. So you know Cave and the Mill are also two really good POIs to land at, but you'll probably be contested, so you're going to have to fight off drop. Alright, so now we're going to be moving on to King's Canyon, and I'm going to be showing you guys the best POIs to land at with Crypto, and where you want to rotate to after you land. So the first three spots we're going to talk about is Crypto's Map Room, Caustic Treatment, and Repulsive. So the reason I like these three POIs is because they are located on the side of the map that is easiest to rotate out of. We'll talk about Crypto's Map Room first. Beautiful place. The best part about this POI is the fact that you can scan the satellite and you can see where all the squads are around the map. This is huge for you and your squad as it allows you to map out which areas of the map are going to be the safest to rotate through based on where the enemies are located. Now this is a very popular POI, so don't be surprised if you have to fight off drop. It's one of the best POIs if you're looking for early co points and an easy rotate to circle. The next POI I'm going to recommend is Caustic Treatment. Caustic Treatment has some of the best loot in the game because you can get the 4 gold items in the middle. The landing Caustic Treatment and winning your fight can get you guys set up for a very nice game. If you guys are in the dropship and you see too many squads going Crypto Map Room and Caustic Treatment, I recommend dropping Repulsor. Repulsor has very high tier loot and you're able to third party Crypto's map room immediately and capitalize on the kill points. If you land at one of the three POIs I just mentioned, I recommend that you rotate the cage if it's in the next circle. 
And don't forget as you rotate to continuously check the banners around the map with your drone to see how many squads are in the nearby area. The reason I recommend to rotate the cage is because it's one of the easiest areas to defend on the map. Other really good POIs to land at are the Rig, Crash Site, Spotted Lake, and Runoff. And some good non-POIs that are less contested are this small town right outside Gauntlet, this small town right outside Caustic Treatment, and Broken Relay, which is actually a POI, but it plays more like a little small non-POI. Alright, so now we're going to talk about a third topic, Crypto's EMP. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is just the basic information that you need to know about Crypto's EMP. Crypto's EMP has a blast radius of 30 meters. The EMP does 50 damage to the shields and also stuns the enemy for a brief second. Now we're going to go over all the legend abilities that Crypto can counter with his EMP. Alright, so by far the best thing about Crypto's EMP is the fact that you can destroy Jibby Bubbles. We'll talk about this more in depth in a little bit, but make sure you guys are EMPing Bubbles and wiping Jibby teams that are caught in a bad spot. Other abilities that the EMP counters are Lifeline's Health Drone, Caustic Traps, Mirage Decoys, Watson's Pylon and her Fences, Loba's Black Market, Disable ramped walls and temporarily disable Sheila. Destroy Horizon's ult. And lastly, you can destroy Seer's ult. The EMP also destroys enemy crypto drones. So make sure you remember this knowledge while you play, so if you see any Watsons or Caustics camping in a building, you EMP them and get a free wipe. Alright, now we're going to take a step back for a second, and we're going to talk about EMPing Jibby Bubbles. I'm going to let this clip play out real fast. This is the type of play you need to be making when you play Crypto. Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit that one. So I know the enemy team has a Gibraltar. And my Bangalore teammate just threw her ultimate on top of them. Through my ult. They were getting beamed, had an ultimate coming down, and had to move because of the circle. So I knew they were going to throw the bubble. And if you're playing Crypto, you need to EMP this as fast as possible. The EMP destroys the bubble, and the airstrike does I knocked the rest. someone. I knocked two people. I killed all of them with my ult. You're good shit. EMPing that bubble stunned the enemy team, and left them all out in the open, with no cover against the Bangalore ult. Oh, good shit, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so next we're going to be talking about how you want to use his EMP. And with Crypto, you kind of just play through his EMP. I'm going to break down Crypto's ranked play style. Alright, so earlier we discussed where you want to land with Crypto and early fights and early kill points with Crypto. So now I want to talk about if you didn't get early kill points, how you can look for fights mid game and what you should be doing. Okay, with Crypto, you want to rotate on the edge of the map and try and look for an isolated 3v3. Just keep throwing your drone up and looking at the banners and checking for squads nearby. And if there's one squad nearby, try and locate them and track them down. This is when you want to try and fight the squad and wipe them out as fast as possible. And with Crypto, that's very easy using his EMP. In ranked, if you fight for too long, you are guaranteed to get third party. This is where Crypto's aggressive EMP push comes into play. Hey, we can queue. We can queue up. Now watch this clip and I'll show you guys how to do an aggressive EMP push. As you can see, I already got my drone in position, so now I'm coordinating with my teammates so we can push at the same time and capitalize on the EMP. Side note, my mic wasn't working at this time, so I was using the text chat. Right, we start pushing in, and Horizon does their tactical, and I EMP, and we go up. You see how we're all stacked on top of each other? That's how you guys need to be. You need to be with each other, calculated, coordinated, and just pushing in. We'll make the squad wipe a lot easier. Alright, let's check out this next clip. Alright, so we're getting ready to fight this squad right in front of us. And you notice how me and my teammates are right on the edge of the radius of the EMP? This is how you and your squad need to be pushing in to capitalize on the EMP. Now that we covered aggressive EMPing, I want to talk about how you can use Crypto's EMP in a defensive manner. So self EMPing is really good for trying to slow down enemies and prevent them from pushing or even turning the fight around in your favor. If you've already taken some shield damage, go ahead and send out your EMP and immediately start popping a battery so you can get fully shielded and ready to fight. And if there's a shield swap nearby, go ahead and EMP, then shield swap. A lot of Legends abilities pair really well with Crypto's EMP. A good example of this is Revenant's Death Totem. If you pair the Death Totem with Crypto's EMP and can be coordinated with your team, it can be a really deadly combo. You can even pair Crypto's EMP with Jesus' ultimate to ruin a Jibby's day just like this. So quick fuse soup real fast, if you aim fuse's ultimate at the top of the jibby bubble, it will completely surround the bubble and trap the jibby inside. Alright, so this leads us on to our next topic, the best team composition to run with crypto. 
All right, so first things first, Crypto pairs extremely well with any movement legend. So before we get into the actual team compositions, I want to talk about the two legends that I think make Crypto's EMP even more effective. And these two legends are Ash and Octane. So these two legends will help you get to the fight a lot faster when you are aggressive EMP. Right when the EMP goes off, have the Ash hit the portal right on the enemies, and then you and your squad take care of the rest. And the same thing goes for Octane's jump pad. My nade hits, so I EMP those guys and jump pad right away. And you see how fast I got in there right after the EMP? That's how you guys need to be using these legends like Octane and Ash to pair with Crypto's EMP. So a quick little tip with Octane that you should tell your Octane teammates is that if they get stunned by your EMP, they can actually negate the stun effect by using their stem. And that is another reason why Octane is one of the best legends to play with Crypto. Other really good movement legends to pair with Crypto are Horizon, Wraith, and Pathfinder. Now let's talk about the team compositions. So no matter what legends you're running, you're always going to want a Gibraltar in your team in ranked. He's going to be the backbone of your squad, and his bubble is a must for late game. And this comp right here is going to be the best comp for Crypto this season, and it's going to be Jibby, Crypto, and Ash. As we went over earlier, you can pair Ash's portal with Crypto's EMP to make the aggressive EMP push even more effective. If you wanted to, you could swap out Ash for Octane, but I just feel like Ash is just a much better option for this squad. And of course, I can't really talk about ranked without talking about Valkyrie. So if you want to swap out Ash for Valkyrie, go ahead and do that. Because no one can rotate as good as Valkyrie can with their ultimate. Crypto pairs well with a lot of legends. So I really just recommend having a Crypto, Jibby, and whoever your third feels most comfortable playing on. Alright, so next up, we're going to talk about the guns you want to be using and how you want to manage your inventory. The weapons you want to run is usually just personal preference and whatever you're best with. But I have a few recommendations that pair really well with Crypto's kit. I always recommend running a shotgun with Crypto, specifically the Mastiff or PK. One thing that's great about shotguns is that they only take up about one or two spots of ammo in your inventory, so you can prioritize other things that are more important to carry with Crypto, which I'll cover in a little bit. And shotguns are great to use in all the close quarter bubble fights that you get into in ranked. But before we talk about other weapons that are great with Crypto, I want to talk about my personal favorite loadout to run. One of the most OP guns in Apex Legends is the Car SMG. If you guys are not abusing this weapon, you need to be. No gun can outgun the car SMG up close if you land all your shots. And I love pairing this gun with the Wingman. The Wingman is a great weapon to use with Crypto, especially after you EMP the enemies. You can put out some massive damage with this loadout if you can hit all your shots. A more reliable option and one of the best loadouts to run with Crypto is an R301 Mastiff. You want to run weapons that complement Crypto's playstyle. So having weapons that are versatile like the 301 in long and short range engagement is a must. Other weapons that you could use as your primary include the Flatline, Wingman, Hemlock, and the Havoc. Only use these weapons if you're comfortable using them at both a long and short range. And the only secondary weapons I recommend to use are a Mastiff, PK, RSMG, and a Wingman. All these secondary weapons don't require much ammo to be stored in your inventory, so you can prioritize other items with Crypto. So now we're going to talk about what those other items are and how to manage your inventory with Crypto. Alright, so your inventory management is very important if you want to succeed in rank. And this is what you want your inventory to look like with Crypto. So for your ammo, I recommend one spot for your shotgun and four to five for your primary weapon. And if you have a purple bag, I recommend carrying at least six shield batteries. With Crypto, you want to have your EMP charged and ready before every fight because EMP makes fights not last as long and much easier to win. That is why I recommend carrying at least two alt accelerants with you. So you can charge up your EMP after using it in a fight and get it back. I would even suggest carrying up to 3 or 4 alt accelerants if you have extra room. Last but not least, you want to be carrying throwables on you at all times. Grenades in Apex Legends are extremely OP, so you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of them. Throwing grenades as you aggressive EMP push a squad is a great way to utilize throwables with Crypto. Alright guys, so to close this out, I want to go over a few more tips and tricks with Crypto to help you climb in ranked. The one thing that's important to know and understand about Crypto is how his green indicator slash cursor thing works. So if the cursor indicator is lit up green like that, that means it's within the range that you can throw it against the wall, and it'll turn back around and start scanning behind instead of facing the wall. This is important to know in games so you can throw your drone against an object and it will turn around by itself so you can keep eyes in that area and you don't have to enter your drone to set it up yourself. And if you look right here, I keep backing up until my indicator is not green anymore, and then you can kind of see the range of how far you can throw the drone. And right here you see I throw it and it's not within the range so it doesn't turn around and faces the wall doesn't scan. 
So even though Crypto is not known for his movement, you want to be utilizing movement as much as possible. So throwing your drone out and sliding down a hill and checking the banners will allow you to keep moving and stay with your squad while gathering information by looking around you and checking the banners. Alright, so next I want to go over this little trick that allows Crypto to do a lot of things at once while on his drone. So check this out. If you look right here, I'm popping a battery while on my drone, EMPing, and my gun got reloaded. I should have mentioned this earlier, but if you're on Crypto's drone, it will reload your gun if it's not reloaded. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to pop a battery while on your drone. So you want to hold down your tactical button to throw your drone up in the air, and then immediately start popping a battery before you enter drone mode. This is extremely clutch as it allows you to reposition your drone while putting on a battery and even EMP the enemies while you're at it. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this ranked Crypto Guide. Crypto is one of the best legends in ranked because of all the utility and information that he can provide to the team and his ability to finish up fights quick using his aggressive EMP. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, and subscribe for more Apex Legends content.